some reflections very quickly. So I think firstly, right, I realized how fattening cookies are. So I used the entire block of butter, right, and also 200 plus grams of sugar, which is damn a lot if you were to think about it. And then secondly, for the toasting of butter, right, it was quite intense. So in originally, I thought I was going to fail because it took very long to brown. And then when I added into the mixture, it was like a puddle of oil flood because I didn't read the instructions fully. So I forgot that I had to let it cool first. And then thirdly, right, um, what else, what else? Ah, uh, yes. So for my last batch, I added macadamia nuts. And then, right, I realized that it didn't spread as well as the previous one. So I'm not too sure why. I've tried to think of a reason why, but it doesn't make sense because just sprinkle on top of it. So it shouldn't affect much. Okay, also, right, um, one point is that, yes, please get an electric whisk. Because, right, I tried to do the whipping by myself and it was like, wow, super long. And I couldn't get it firm up as much as I wanted to using my own freaking hands because I have weak arms. And also, another thing is, uh, hmm, shit, I forgot what I'm saying. Uh, what else, what else? Oh my god, this timing is stretching me out. Uh, oh yes, I let the, I let my cookie dough uh, sit for one hour in the fridge and I took a nap during the hour. So it's like, yeah, apparently they say like if you were to let it sit in the fridge for longer, your cookie will have more taste. And also one more thing is espresso powder. So in the recipe, they actually add the espresso powder, but I don't even have it at home, so I skipped the step. And then closing thoughts is that firstly, like I said, cookies are super fattening. Like I just like realized. And secondly, cookies are super time consuming to me. Or at least like if you want to like do the like, actual one, it's very time consuming. And thirdly, right, I realized I don't have to buy it outside anymore because I can do it myself. And finally, this is not a tip or reflection, but more of like a call for help. Some of my cookies, right, they have very crusty crust, which is supposed to be the case, but I don't like it that way. Like, I like my cookies to be consistently chewy. So if you know how to ensure like your cookies can spread very evenly, right, please teach me. Thanks. Bye.